NBA Now by Chat Sports continues to rock and roll here. And let's get into the latest on Ben Simmons because there are more reports coming out about a possible Ben Simmons trade and when that trade could take place. According to Keith Pompey, my guy at the Philadelphia Inquirer, he went on 97.5 The Fanatic in Philly and said, the belief is that Ben Simmons is going to get traded. The big question, when is it going to happen? Because according to Pompey, that trade of Ben Simmons might not happen as soon as we think. He talked about possibly that trade going down in training camp, maybe in the preseason. Let's dive in further. Pompey on Ben Simmons had this to say, quote, I felt like talking to people I spoke to and sources, they all thought it was going to happen in the preseason. Happened maybe right before training camp, in training camp, what have you. Maybe right before the final rosters. But the belief is that he is still going to get traded. I think that's right. According to Adrian Wojnarowski, this coming from a recent report, the Philadelphia 76ers and Daryl Morey would prefer that a Ben Simmons trade happen before training camp starts. There's also this from Kendrick Perkins, which we covered on our brand new 76ers News and Rumors channel. Make sure you, should, you, should, you subscribe. Kendrick Perkins on Ben Simmons saying this, and I thought this was pretty fascinating. Ben Simmons is not answering the Sixers phone calls. He doesn't want to be with the Philadelphia 76ers. And from what I heard, he's willing to not report to training camp and will go as long as it takes for him to get out of Philadelphia. I think a Simmons trade, it's not a matter of if, it's a matter of when. This relationship between him, as well as the Sixers organization, as well as the city, is all but done. It's very tarnished, considering how Simmons played in that second round series against the Atlanta Hawks when he was anemic, he was awful, he was a liability late in game. So do you think the relationship can be salvaged between the Sixers as well as Ben Simmons? Type Y for yes, type N for no, sound off in the comment section. As for Ben Simmons trade destinations, we talked about the Golden State Warriors a lot for a team that Simmons could go to and hop on board with this upcoming season. According to multiple reports, back a couple weeks ago, Golden State had turned down a previous offer for Ben Simmons that I thought was way too astronomically high because Maury has set the price very, very high for the multi-time All-Star and first-team All-Defender. Zach Lowe on the Low Post podcast, he's a part of ESPN's coverage when covering the NBA, said that the Warriors are internally divided on Ben Simmons' fit with the dubs. Stephen A. Smith responded to that by also saying they are divided. At first, I didn't know about the Simmons fit on the Warriors because I think he has a lot of the same attributes and skill sets as a guy like Draymond Green. But the more I've researched this, the more I've scouted it, the more I've thought about it, I've warmed up to the fit of Simmons going to Golden State and fitting on that roster seamlessly. Because Ben Simmons can be a very effective small ball five if he's still allergic to shooting and isn't willing to work on that component of his game. So if he does play the five, he can hover around in the dunker spot. You can use him in a lethal way in pick and rolls. He can be an elite passer from the high post as well as the low post. He's there for put back dunks as well as hook shots. And Draymond Green often gets the offense going from the top of the key. So there would still be some spacing for the Warriors. And you have Simmons down low in the low post. Draymond in the high post with Steph Curry and Klay Thompson around the three-point arc. That Golden State Warriors offense could be very, very dangerous. Here's what Lowe had to say about Simmons' fit in Golden State. Quote, Draymond doesn't really shoot anymore. Ben doesn't shoot. I mean, Ben doesn't even dunk in Game 7 when he's got an open dunk. But I wonder if we're all over fretting a little bit. Because if you put those two with Steph Curry, Klay Thompson, and just like pick a shooter so you're playing Draymond at the 5 and Simmons at the 4, the level of playmaking and shooting is... I don't know, but the Warriors will do it. I don't quite know how I feel about it, but I'm a little more positive about it than most people I've talked to, I think. And I'm in agreement with Zach Lowe on that. As for that previously reported trade between the Warriors and the Sixers, that Golden State turned down, I thought it was a wise uh, dismissal by Bob Myers. The Warriors would have gotten Ben Simmons, and the Sixers would have gotten a haul. Andrew Wiggins as a salary cap match, James Wiseman, the number two pick from the 2020 NBA draft, as well as the Warriors' number seven pick, which ended up being Jonathan Kaminga, and the 14th pick, which ended up being Moses Moody. I've come up with a new trade idea, factoring in the most recent reports and the fact that the Warriors turned down that previous deal. How about this one for you? 
Warriors get Ben Simmons. The Sixers get Andrew Wiggins because he's the only player on that roster in Golden State who I think is a tradable asset who has a contract in the neighborhood of Simmons. Sixers also get back Moses Moody. Really like what he's done in the summer league, letting it for, fly from deep, also putting the ball on the floor. And Jordan Poole as a guy who can come in off the bench, go on a microwave heater, and get you some buckets as a sixth man. The Warriors' potential lineup if they pull off a Ben Simmons trade. And James Wiseman is not included in that deal. Steph Curry at point guard, Clay Thompson at the two. Of course, he can play the two or the three. Ben Simmons can play the one, two, three, four, or five. James Wiseman can play the center spot or power forward. And Draymond Green can give you small ball five minutes as well. So for Steve Kerr, this would give him a bunch of lineup versatility against a plethora and litany of teams across the NBA, depending on what those respective matchups are on any given night. So be the, be, be the GM, my peeps. Who wins this trade? Type PHI for the Sixers. Type GSW for the Golden State Warriors. Let me know who wins this trade in the comment section down below.